In today's lesson, we're going to be dividing fractions. Now, when I say fractions, students start to panic. And then when I say dividing, students start to panic. So naturally, when I say dividing fractions, there's just mass chaos. Um, last lesson, we learned how to multiply fractions. And I always end the lesson with, you know, tomorrow we're going to be learning how to divide fractions. And it's going to be the second easiest thing in the world for you to do. All right, and if it's not, by the end of the lesson that day, it should be for you. Um, so, and then we get through the lesson, and the biggest thing they need to remember are these three words. Keep, change, flip, in this order exactly. Um, that's going to be the key for them to divide fractions. I show them a little fun video that you can find also on this site. Um, it links you to a, a, a YouTube video that's uh, from a, a very cool website called Flocabulary. The students are uh, have a blast with it. It's a free video for them um, to watch. So let's go ahead and start with a problem. Let's say we have um, 3 fourths. So 3 fourths divided by... Uh, let's say two-thirds. Two-thirds. Okay. Um, well, what I need to do is keep, change, flip. What this means is keep my first number the same. Three-fourths. I did not do anything with it. I kept it. Change. Change division to multiplication. All right. Flip. I'm going to flip two-thirds. Now, um, this is a vocab word that I like to give the students. It's actually called not just flipping it, but taking the reciprocal of it. Um, that's a, a very big word that they're going to hear a lot throughout their educational career in math. Um, so I like to introduce it now if they haven't heard it already. The reciprocal. So we're going to flip two over three to three over two. And now it's exactly yesterday's lesson. Three times three is nine. 4 times 2 is 8. Now, I cannot keep this as an improper fraction. I need to change it to a mixed number. 8 goes into 9 one whole time, leaving, if I use 8 of my 9, leaving 1 left over, and the 8 stays on the bottom. So, 3 fourths divided by 2 thirds is 1 and 1 eighth. Um, these problems typically are pretty easy for the students. What gets more difficult is when we throw in some mixed numbers and um, where they change it to improper fractions. So let's say we have 1 and 3 fourths divided by 2 and 2 fifths. 2 and 2 fifths. Now, this will be a little longer of a process. What I need to do first is I cannot divide mixed numbers like this. I need to change them to improper fractions. Now, you may see where I'm already getting issues with students. When I say I need to change these to improper fractions, they sometimes think, oh, well, I've done my change or my flip, and they forget to do some of these last problems. So um, in order to change these into improper fractions, we do side times the bottom plus the top, keep the bottom. So 1 times 4 is 4, plus 3 is 7, keep the bottom as 4. So we have 7 fourths. I have not done anything, so it's still a division sign. And then 2 fifths, 2 times 5 is 10, plus 2 is 12, keep the 5. One step at a time, or else we start skipping steps, and we will get to the wrong answer. Um, so I'm just going to move it down now, actually. Now I can keep, change, flip. Keep 7 fourths, change, 12 over, or change multiplication, um, division to multiplication, and flip or take the reciprocal of 12 over 5, which is 5 over 12. And now I just multiply. 7 times 5 is 35. 4 times 12 is 48. See if I can simplify 35 and 48. I cannot. So it stays as an answer of 35 48ths.